Welcome to Electra Online. Nothing like starting with an easy example to help us understand this concept. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the area bounded by a polar curve. In this case, the polar curve is a circle defined by the equation r equals 1. And we know that the small area element is defined as dA, which is 1 half, the radius squared times d theta, or the function squared times d theta, depending upon how you want to write it. So now to find the whole area, we need to integrate all these small little area elements from the first angle to the last angle. So in this case, the angle theta 1 will be 0, and theta 2 will be pi, or pi over 2, 90 degrees, which is pi over 2. So the area of that first quadrant will be equal to the integral of 1 half r squared d theta from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 2, or 90 degrees. All right. Now, in this case, what we want to do is replace r by what that r is equal to in terms of the function of theta. So that means that this is now going to be equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 half times, instead of r, we're going to write the function of theta, quantity squared times d theta. And in this case, the function is going to be equal to 1, so now we can simply replace that function by 1. So this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 half times 1 times d theta. And of course, that can be written as 1 half times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 times d theta. All right, that's a really easy integral, so this becomes equal to 1 half times theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. When we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, you get pi over 2. So this becomes 1 half times pi over 2, which in this case is going to be pi over 4. And let's see here, that would be equal to the area. So the area will be equal to pi over 4 for just the first quadrant. If you want the area of the whole circle, that would be 4 times as much, so the area for the whole circle will be equal to pi. Notice that the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared, but since r is equal to 1, then you can see that pi times 1 squared will give you pi for the area of the whole circle, so it does seem to work out. And that's how we use the concept of the area of a, or bounded by a polar function, defined by this function right here, or that integral right there. And that's how it's done.